10 years ago, I lost quite a lot of weight, about six stone, um, just through exercising and diet and stuff. Um, and I was temporarily very happy with that. But I, as time went on, I noticed I had quite a lot of excess skin, um, quite a lot of fat, especially on my flanks, um, that I just didn't seem to be able to shift. And I just felt that I was kind of in a strange position where I was really happy what happened, but I still wasn't happy with what I saw in the mirror. Um, and it just, I just didn't get to the place that I thought I would after losing the weight. Um, and I talked to doctors, I talked to other people, and I thought about coming to see someone like Maya for years, um, and I just didn't. Um, and then my wife kind of encouraged me to say, look, if you're not happy, just talk to someone. Um, went and had a chat and that's it, that's where we are. Having the fat was like a, a scar of what I'd been through. This is like a good scar because I kind of look at it and the fact that I can see my um, waist to actually see the scar was the first time that I could. So I don't really, it doesn't bother me. It, I can put my trousers exactly my shorts or whatever exactly on it. So if I don't want anyone to see it, they don't don't get any problems with it. So it doesn't really worry me. I'm really excited about, you know, as we're shooting this, I'm going on holiday tomorrow and I'm just really looking forward to like getting there. I'm gonna chuck my shirt. I don't even think I'm gonna bother taking a shirt. And I've normally been the one that I've always got the hoodies that just in case, and I cover myself up. I'm gonna be like shirtless for a whole week. I'm excited about how I feel. I feel differently, I feel healthier. I, I can feel it in myself, the way I move. Like, I just feel really positive and happy. And it's taken me a long time to get here, you know? And it isn't just you go and have a procedure and you walk out and everything's fine with what I had. You know, I've put in a lot of effort. I go gym every day. I've changed my diet, I've changed my lifestyle, I've cut drinking down, I've stopped smoking to get to the place that I need to get to, but I had to get a big push to get there because I just couldn't get there myself. Um, and I just feel that without what I've had done, I don't know, I wouldn't be where I am today and I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't feel positive about myself. I think that there's a kind of underlining um, thought that blokes aren't bothered about how they look and they, they mentally don't get affected by certain things that are wrong with their body or... And that's what happened with me, you know, all my mates would always kind of banter me about, you know, when I was big about being fat and all that sort of stuff and I didn't like it even though I just put up with it. Um, and I think I didn't really tell anyone about it because I was worried what perception I'd get from people when I started saying I'm going to go and have that because they're almost like, who do you think you are? You know, you're not in Hollywood, mate, you know. Um, so I didn't tell my mates, didn't tell my family. I, me and my wife talked about it a lot. Um, and when I started opening up about it, which I have done quite a lot recently, the amount of people that I've either spoke to that have said, do you know what, that's exactly what my husband's going through, that's exactly what my boyfriend's going through, but he wouldn't talk to anyone about it. Or, and I've actually spoken to quite a lot of people about it because I just don't think that you should be any different to a woman that might want to make something that she doesn't like different or better. I don't think just because you're a bloke you shouldn't be able to do that. I've done it for years where I've been that guy, but then I've realised like I've got that other side to me that I want to be able to talk about because people go, blimey, I wouldn't have thought that because he's always happy and he's always like messing around and stuff. But it's everyone's complex, I think. I think the more that we can get people, not just blokes, but women as well, talking about how they feel and not being ashamed about it, whatever it is, even if other people can't see it, but you can, and it bothers you every single day. If you can talk about it 
and then people can help you deal with it and they can point you in the right direction what you can do about it. And I'm in a privileged position because I've got you know, a bit of a social following and stuff. And that's why I'm determined to use it, not to preach to people or to like say you should do this, but just to say you should talk about it, whether it's your body, your mind, anything, like you should be able to talk about it because that's how you're gonna help people and save people really.